Hey, what did the judge give the thief who stole a calendar? Twelve months! Seriously, dude? Our DM who turned us into a flaming sheep wagon in a room full of three overlevel dragons was a lot funnier. The last time I saw one, Heartless plagued him wherever he went as well. I will never forget his name because it's such an unfortunate one to have to the point that I get the feeling that something must have happened to him, as with all of my children that have passed through here. His name was Ephemera. Now whether he's still alive or not, I do not know for certain. But if you do by some chance come across him, please give him my regards. Goodbye, my children. Clever. Very clever. You think you're really smart, don't you? In this world, it's kill or be killed. So you were able to play by your own rules. You spared the life of a single person. <laughs> I bet you feel really great. You didn't kill anybody this time. But what will you do if you meet a relentless killer? You'll die and you'll die and you'll die until you tire of trying. What will you do then? Will you kill out of frustration? Or will you give up entirely on this world? And let me inherit the power to control it. I am the prince of this world's future. But don't worry, my little monarch. My plan isn't regicide. This is so much more interesting. <laughs> An unusual program deviation occurred when I observed you earlier. My higher brain circuitry malfunctioned and nearly overheated at your image. Also, an unidentifiable impulse sped through my processors. These events are new to me. There is more to this phenomenon as well. I ran diagnostic programs, and the solution was, I want to know more about you. I want to observe you. Such a compulsion has no precedence. Cause unknown. I, the perfect computer, I must diagnose this unusual situation. I will not fail. I don't care if the treasure is real or not. But I can't help but like a guy who wants to save some skirt he fell for. And just so we're clear here, bucko, if you don't find my daughter, your luck may turn terrible. My, 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 aren't you a fine specimen of a man? Yes, indeed. I simply must thank you for your graciousness. But how to do it? Hmm, perhaps if I grabbed you and gave you a little sugar? For our next match, we have the merciless executioner, the Great Gonzalez, and the bone-banging rockers, yep, I fight to the finish with the dead bones. Yo, 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 lately Tokyo's been one bad trip. The attack on the record store in Chuo Street, prowlers in Dogazaka Hill, low lives spreading vicious rumors, the mysterious blackout on 99th Street. Man, my heart ain't pounded like this since, since my first date. I was so nervous, know what I'm saying? I forgot to wear my underwear, baby. This ain't that time to be sitting around sipping afternoon tea. The game's gonna start, and y'all gonna be making some plays. Oh, it is like so sweet that you boys think I'm cute. Seriously, guys like you make me feel like totally barfing. Now get out of my way. I found you, faker! Faker? <laughs> if anything, I think you're the fake one around here. You're not even good enough to be my fake. I'll make you eat those words! <laughs>